This is a Gorilla Podcast Network production. Welcome to the Late Night Potluck Show. Potluck Show. Potluck Show. Potluck Show. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to the Late Night Potluck Show, episode 32. And this is your host, Dave, hanging out here with uh, Riel and Juan with his team. Um, we, our guest is the Colombian hot dog from Bridgeport. Uh, how you guys doing? All right, so we're doing something different. Um, my man here, these guys are going to do a cook-off. Um, let's get that started right away. All right. We're always talking about who's making the best hot dog when we're in the food truck. So, you know, again, we're always competing just to, just for, um, again, just to see who's better. Uh, again, one more time. <laughs> <laughs> A little friendly challenge. That, that's good. That's good. Uh, just keep things excited. Eight years experience. Nice. Yeah, it's good. So we, got, we got my man uh, Pablo right here. Pablo? What's going on? I'm good. How are you? Kevin. Kevin? Uh, Chris. I mean. And Chris. All right. Whenever you guys are ready to start it. Uh, is this timed or? <laughs> okay, that's true, that's true. Okay. Same ingredients, but you're going to feel the love from each and everybody else. That's different. Let's get started. All right, let's go ahead. All right. So they're starting off with a nice dog. Starting with the bacon. You, you, that's that's the base of it, basically. You want to have the, a nice flat piece of bacon on top. You know, kind of holds everything together. Um... Next is the coleslaw. Chris got it. He's, he's oh, let's go, let's go check out the coleslaw. He's already. Get I'm trying to see. It's not even about the speed. It's also about uh, the touch that you put into it. All right, if I may say. Uh, and then after that, after the coleslaw, obviously. When I make, when I so you get the dog, the bacon, the coleslaw. Yep. And then after that, you know, chips? potato sprinkle sticks. It, you sprinkle it. Everybody likes their, their kind of hot dog different. I like to make mine with the coleslaw like a little less watery, so to say, or more textured. You know? Yeah, because yeah, uh, needless to say, this is a messy dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, you, you know, it's fun. It's Not sliding, fun. coming down your it's arms. Fun. No, no, you yeah. Need, you will need a couple naps. <laughs> For sure. All right, let's see how Juan's doing over here. Juan is mad quiet over here. He's <laughs> nervous, bro. He's nervous. He's nervous. They're always talking junk, but you know, but <coughs> on, I got a brand of flavor. They, you know, they make it up. You never know. You know. All right, there's one ingredient that I, I personally like, uh, but not everybody's uh, fond to. You know what I mean? So not everybody likes to have, to have um, mustard. Mustard. I personally like it, so I'm just gonna add that to my hot dogs. And I'm gonna give you a little taste. Yeah, yeah, he had he had this up his sleeve. If you look at the original menu, it's got mustard, but I started asking a lot of people started asking, no mustard, so mustard on the side, also. So does everybody know what each one is doing, or some you have something unique that you're not saying to anybody? I don't know. We know we know what we're doing, except for you know he kind of wanted to bring that mustard thing out. I'm done with my dog actually though. Nah, so the dog has a. So Paul's done. Yeah, yeah, you know. I'm gonna see who makes the better. Holy, 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 holy! Don't take a pic. <laughs> you know, what I mean? this is. I, I'm sorry, Pablo, but I don't know, Kevin. Yeah, Kevin. Kevin, that looks that looks pretty nice. Uh, <laughs> nah, it's fine. <laughs> he did it. She's a little. <laughs> this is original. This is what I'm saying. This is a little original. I didn't add the green sauce. The green sauce came in when well, we started the new season, but. This is just the original dog that we started oh, with, geez, just um, from my aunt's restaurant, El Latino. El Latino, that's on Park Ave. Park Ave, yeah. right in the corner. She's been there for like 30 plus years, and we started with this hot dog. Pineapple, pink sauce, ketchup, cheese, bacon. That pineapple cheese. sauce is good, too. I, I kind of joined them a little late, and so, you know, I, I like to add the green sauce. No, sure. I see. Is this more of a, like the Brazilian flag over here, right? <laughs> Maybe the I, yellow, the maybe I do subconsciously. Have some maybe you know, <laughs> yeah, and, uh, I am Brazilian, so but perform on the product. I, I think they all oh, taste very good. Man, no, man. no matter who's making it, whether it's me or Kevin, uh, I, 
See, again, you know, Juan's over the Mac White. Yeah, yeah, see, the thing is, though, the thing is, no, 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 no. The thing is, see, my what? cheese is leaning more towards the side. They just know the new dog. I'm not even going to lie. I'm more, when I'm we are on the truck, I'm more of the cook. So, the preppers are them. So, I'm telling you, make sure the dogs are right. Yeah, make sure everything, the dogs, the burgers, the the meat, the chicken, the beef, all that. I got to make sure all that's correct and all that's cooked perfectly, so... My dog might not look, uh, but okay. when you eat it, I'm telling you, all right? You wouldn't know the difference. All right, hey, listen, man. Listen. I just gotta say, mine's just so advertising, it's fucking off this place. That's all I gotta that's say. That's just, yeah, that's, uh, right. that's all I gotta say. All right, so now we're judging off a look. Watch out, right? I'm just gonna do this real quick. Go ahead. No, 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 I'm not gonna add nothing. I'm just gonna make everything uh, nice and situated. But if you guys want more bacon, just let me know. All right, I don't know if you guys. uh. No bacon for you. Anybody with no bacon? Oh, no, we eat pork. No restrictions here. No restrictions. All right. <laughs> no allergies. <laughs> we love right, that swine. I don't know how much you caught off of this, but you're up. Oh, hold oh, on. Right. Yeah. 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 trying to get on right. uh, So the basics, you have the base for the base. Uh, normally, you like to add the, the coleslaw right after this. Coleslaw. So you can put these on pineapple. in your own order, but uh, I personally do the pineapple sauce first. Then we do a little ketchup, again, the mustard that I don't forget. I'm next, all right. Give me the, give me the bottles on the table. That's what's necessary. All right, put some heat there. What was that the last time you put? This is like a garlic aioli. Garlic aioli. Turn up the heat. Let's go. Yes, yes, there you go. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. okay. He okay. had his little secret up. <laughs> Sweet, savory. Is that the scotch bonnet? Okay. There you go. This is the Dave's Angry Sauce dog right here. Dave's uh, Angry Sauce. I like that. Baby, for sure, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I think I just got myself a new job. <clears throat> You want to take his own house? Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, sure. I'm yeah. Sure. Yeah. 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 If you already have these uh, warmed up, you can, again. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so now we got Riel. Oh, Riel's. Uh, so is there a different way of doing it? Making, up his, uh, making his hot dog now. Oh, no, this is this is, this is, this is, this is your hot dog. This is my hot dog. If you want to take the bacon off and want to put the cheese on, and then you want to do the whatever you want to do, you can do that. No way in the world. Whatever you want. You want to take the bacon off and want to put the cheese on, and then you want to do whatever you want. No way in the world. Whatever you want. My little secret is um, I put the chips on, okay, and then put the coleslaw on on top. That's my little secret. That's why mine came out so nice. Uh, <laughs> just saying. Uh, all right. I'll take your advice. Okay. With that. You said chips first? Chips first. Don't be shy with the chips. Don't be shy with the chips. Right. Now we got real putting the potato chips on there. Uh, uh, don't be. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, 
He went for the deep, uh, the Scottish bunt. Ooh, wow. I like it spice. Oh, wow. It's going to be a hot dog. Hot, literally a hot dog. Yeah, we need to absorb some of that heat. But you know what? You know what? You know what? Check this out. The Scotch bonnet sauce, because it's loaded with pineapple, it's going to go, it's like, goes hand in hand. Nice. All right, so Riel's going with the pineapple sauce. Woo! It's all right. It's all right. You can recover from that. It just exploded in his wiener. I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> is that the mayo, mayo ketchup? Yeah, that's pink the, sauce. the pink sauce. Pink so sauce. I don't know what I saw in your yeah, website, but it's not your regular mayonnaise and ketchup, though. It's it's, uh, we had a. You know what they say, though? If, if I told you, I have to. It's a kid. So, yeah. <laughs> but we do have one special ketchup, so, so don't <laughs> tell us. <laughs> Now, what do you call this cheese? What is, is, is uh, this? Is a queso blanco. Queso blanco. Queso de freír. Yeah, queso de freír. Typical Colombian cheese. Pick it up. Pick it up. There you go. And that is real. The, oh, he's, oh, this dude is loading up the hassle. I'm guessing you oh, yeah. kick to it. There you go. Yeah, Riel's a big, he's a big fan of the kick. So oh, much I'm that he I'm a big fan of Dave's hot sauce. Okay. Let's <laughs> <laughs> put him on fire. Let's size him up. Sure. All right, they're lining them up. Lining them up. Take the pick. Kick that. Yeah, they're going to take a picture. All right, we're going to swap them around, right? We're not going to eat our own. Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you guys, you guys I'm gonna make another one for myself. He said, Yeah, 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 definitely. Well, let's bring it to the tables. Let's have a seat, all right? Well, that was pretty different. That was pretty dope. That was, guys. Uh, so, we're just continuing. We're getting settled down now after that cook off. And I appreciate it. Thank you guys for coming, guys. Uh, Juan, hey, Pablo, Kevin, Chris, thank you for coming and joining us. That was a pretty cool demonstration of something different we've never done before on the right, show thanks for having us oh the second part the better part the best part is actually eating them, so <laughs> yeah for sure no. absolutely <clears throat> so we're about to taste uh bite into uh the hot dogs that we just made um let's let's go ahead let's hand them out and um All right, i made my own so i'm just gonna go ahead and grab what i made i added some you know some of your sauce Everybody's the same, so I mean, no, I added some of his sauce. So. Well, 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 like you said saying. a while ago, you had a <laughs> way of putting it, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's it was how we make the difference. I'll take whatever's it, out there. It's the <clears> love, but it's I guess. the love okay, that you put. So, okay. Get the I last one right there. This one right there, yep. yep. That's, that's the best one, I think, personally. Um, Is this for Dave? Yeah, that's okay. You got it? Yep. <clears throat> yeah, uh, Dave, we mentioned earlier that uh, that there's a way of eating these hot dogs. You know, they are, as you can see, are a little messy. Oh, yeah. All right. So if you, you know, a lot of people just tend to just pick up and then, you know, things just kind of start falling off, uh, falling off the, the little yeah. tray. Right. Uh, so instead smart. of doing that, making sure that we're pulling it off the hot dog. Pulling it, uh, okay. Pull it off the tray and then, you know, just start, start taking bites off of it. Right. Enjoy, guys. Now this hot Hello. sauce on mine definitely tastes uh, <laughs> super, super amazing, bro, bro. I like the crunch, man. The crunch adds to it. Oh, and that pineapple. Pineapple. Was that pineapple sauce? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yo te está quemando. Not enough. Not enough. I'm good. <clears throat> uh, so this is a typical Colombian hot dog. Of course, we add our own little uh, twist to it, uh, but the you, you know anywhere in Colombia you're gonna see the pineapple sauce, the chips. Uh, you know, of course, we add the bacon. That's not necessarily making it Colombian, but in everywhere, in, uh, in a lot of places you go in Colombia, you're gonna get the especially in America. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and if we're you know might as well just add to it because it does give it a you know a good it does balance it out pretty nice. It was just very much so. Uh, 
we wanted to bring the actual Colombian fast food taste and everything mm. back here, back home. You know, there wasn't a lot of places that actually had Colombian the, fast the, food. The, it's, it just goes perfect because the, the, the bacon is salty. Yep. Yeah, and the sweetness from the pineapple. The pineapple sauce. sauce. <clears throat> yeah, not only that, but like the the textures and stuff like that are, are, are super perfect too. Exactly. The 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 crispness of the chip, uh-huh. and then the cheese yeah. on top right. is like add a little different more texture. Like not for nothing, um, I've I've made dogs before at the truck and um, have brought them back home. And it, it's like it's it's really not a big deal that it's been sitting there for like an hour or whatever, because um you know throw it in the microwave or whatever the case is, and when it gets warmed up, it's it's just as good. <clears throat> um, I'm not gonna lie, I added um Dave's hot sauce, and um I don't know about you guys, but I don't know if I can curse, but it's pretty effing good. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's fucking blazing, bro. Right. Seriously, I, I had the uh, the sauce with the mustard on there too. I'm like. Why not double dip in there with like an extra <laughs> couple of sauces? But yeah, it's real good for sure. We have to keep on you know some of the sauces again. I know you bought some the other day. Mm-hmm. You know, we have to keep them available at all times. How about this bread, though? It's doing a very that's good what job. I always, that's what I always say. It's Key doing to a the good job. Sandwich or hot dog is definitely the toasted bread. The bread, if the bread is not toasted and it's cold, kind of gonna enjoy anything. Kind of holds it all together. I don't know the toast. That's what I was gonna say too with the cr- crunchiness. As he was saying with the chips and the mm-hmm. cheese, I think mm-hmm. the bread plays a big part in it as well. I picked up a sandwich. <clears throat> Shout out to my man uh, Jose Perez. If you haven't, um, you go to New Haven Bear Smokehouse. Okay. They do pastrami, briskets, and um, he's one of the guys who's smoking the meat. And um, I picked up a sandwich. Now, sandwich is amazing. But by the time I took it back to my desk at my job, right, right, right. the bread was almost pretty much gone. Like uh, it was soggy. just much. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm saying. Like mm-hmm. this bread is doing a really fine job of just holding, holding it all. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Sure. Especially yeah. knowing, <coughs> yeah, excuse me, with all the sauces. Right. Knowing yeah, that sure. it has all the pineapple. Right. And the pink sauce, and the garlic aioli, and cilantro, garlic and cilantro aioli. No. I don't want Juan to get mad right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, it, it, so I know it got it was kind of loud, or maybe the you know the audio was pretty bad. Uh, but just so you know, talk about Juan. What's in this dog? Uh, <clears throat> that sauce. It's on a kick. <laughs> 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 uh, so uh, we've been doing hot dogs for a long time. It's over ten years. We started off my, at my uh, aunt's restaurant. Uh, the idea just came from, you know, just from my childhood. I grew up in Colombia, and, you know, me and my cousins, my older cousins, we used to just kind of gather a few um, vessels in Colombia and then just go to the, the nearest hot dog place for mm-hmm. them to just give us the ingredients. And then we would just come home, uh, you know, heat up the, the salchicha, the sausage, and then put it together ourselves. So it's kind of like, it all started from there. I, I always had that. Ooh, I like making my own hot dogs at home. Of course, we can go buy them, but right. you know it was a lot cheaper to just make them at the house. So me and my cousin used to do that, and <clears throat> come to this country and just I never saw, you know, I never had or saw anything that we used to make yeah. here. Mm-hmm. With that idea in mind, I always just kind of chased that. It's like, nah, I need to chase that flavor. I need to chase right. that thing that I used to have when I was a little kid. So you know, a lot of us, you know, chase that one thing that either mom's cooking, grandma's sauce. Whatever it is that you know that hits you, that hits home, uh-huh. that's what you're looking for. Um, <clears throat> and again, this has been a, a, a work. In, you know, this is not something that brand new that we just came out of out of nowhere. We we've been mastering, as you know, you can say, for a long time. We uh, we started off with just like the main ingredients, not knowing how to make it. We started off uh, with the pineapple sauce, making sure that we added uh, the chips, I remember, uh, bacon, and the so. I remember Juan had a spreadsheet on how to make literally drew a hot dog <clears throat> drew the actual the bun the hot, hot dog, dog then on top of it it was, uh, it, it was the bacon and then it was like tutorials and steps on how to make an actual how we just did it it was just in the yeah, and it was, it was pretty funny it was just follow Same those thing with steps the well. it was a blueprint it, yeah. was a, it was the blueprint to, to success i have you want to no, say because we've gotten you know, better but we've we yeah, we started off with the main ingredients uh uh-huh. but it wasn't really you know hitting like it wasn't really filling my expectations. Saying that, what you're doing there, it, it, it sounds to me that you know you you were very concerned about the quality. You want it standard. I just didn't want to have hot dogs because 
uh-huh. used to go to New York. Uh, you know, oh, I used to love New York. We used to New go Jersey to New York New just York. to have hot dogs. Like, Over there's hot dogs, um, uh, mustard, and um, sometimes Sour, sauerkraut. Sauerkraut, 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 sauerkraut yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and some people you say <clears throat> put ketchup on it. They're like, fuck that. You don't you know you don't put ketchup on a hot dog. You know, right. so everybody has yeah, everybody has a difference. Like right. so I know some people that don't put mustard on a hot dog. They'll look at you like. Yeah. The hot dog and mustard and, mm-hmm. oh, mustard and I mean mustard, mustard and hot dog. <laughs> you see, that is, there you go. So, again, over years, we, uh, uh-huh. me and my cousin, used to go to New York. Uh, let's just go to New York just to have some Colombia hot dogs. Uh, the concept was there, but it wasn't really again feeling like you know what I can make a better one, but I just don't know how. Okay. So it took me going to Colombia, just finding different ways. Of course, doing some research on the internet, uh, finding different ways of putting the coleslaw together, which I think is what gives it that. That nice uh, taste. Uh, looking into the the pineapple sauce, and you know, just trying to figure it out. Trying to figure it out it's like, how does this taste? Mm-hmm. How does this come together? And how does it hold together? So it's not only how it tastes, but how does it hold together? Do we put the chips first? Uh, does this does it hold the sauce? Does it start leaning if we put the mm-hmm. bacon first? So we we this thing has been put together in a thousand different ways. Okay. Well, there's only yeah. although there's only like and you know six seven yeah. ingredients. There's a thousand ways of putting it together. <clears throat> Uh, but you know, we just came up with something that that you know that that stuck and that we all agreed on, um, and you know that's what we've been kind of been. That's the basis of it. So we've got the hot dog. Uh, we then added the, the bacon, just to make sure that that's in it. Well, it's bacon, so you know, it makes well, bacon had to be in. Right? <laughs> yeah. Uh, of course, the coleslaw sauce. Again, we just did some research to make sure that you know we had the best. Tasting uh, coleslawing, a lot of people just come. Definitely tastes really good. Uh, tastes really no, good. Even, even if if New York was delicious, right? Right. You still gotta drive an hour away. That's yeah, no, of course. Crazy. So it's, it's, this is awesome because this is uh, closer than New York and it's better <laughs> than New York. In all honesty, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I, I've uh, never had one in New York, at least uh, not <laughs> Colombian hot dog. Uh, obviously, this was uh, the Colombian hot dogs I ever had was from your truck. <clears throat> oh, right, right, yeah. right, right. right. Um, I had the pleasure of having a, um, a Colombian hot dog, um, and I'll get back. I'll get to this in a second because I know you're a teacher at Fairchild Wheeler, and uh, my daughter, my both <coughs> my kids attend that school. And we always participated at the Relay for Life. Mm, yes. So that's where I had my first Colombian hot dog. Yeah. My oh. wife had the, oh, the no. arepa. Yeah, nice. yeah, yeah, I was just gonna oh, so, you've that, so you've actually experienced. I've menu, experienced the actual menu, not just. <laughs> oh yeah, the actual, no, no. Like, listen, you know, there's you, a reason you're on this show right now, <laughs> man. Because I was, oh, I, I've had it and I came to and I raved about it to man. You mentioned that the last yeah. like for and the, listen, you have to go them fries. <clears> crazy. God. Go crazy. Them shits <laughs> is amazing. So, you know, when he told us about <clears> it, it's like. What can what can really do much about hot dogs? Like for me, it's like what else can yeah, you do? Yeah. That? But now I know what was different about this hot dog. Yeah, I mean that's much much different. So we had that. um you know just last year, this last season we had uh, we had you know just people coming from New York. That that right. to me was like okay now that says that, that, something. this is this is different. Um we had people coming from New York coming. It was like oh we're trying to go to hot dogs. Are you guys open? Make sure that you guys are open so that we don't waste our time, oh. our money. That's when it kind of like hit me. It's like, okay, I go to New York to get these hot dogs and, and people are driving to us. That, you know, that was mind blowing to me. That just kind of, you know, set me, you know, this, like we're now at a, a, at a different standard than this season. Just this, season dog. Yeah. this season, this season was a, it actually, I don't want to say put us on the map because mm-hmm. it was a lot of years, a lot of time. Everything is homemade. All the sauces, all the like the pineapples. We will sit there and mess the pineapples. Not the actual fruit, but and the like I said, the pink sauce. It has our own touch to it. We put spices in the pink mm-hmm. sauce. Right. So it's just not only mayonnaise. Yeah, it's just not only mayonnaise and ketchup. And um, it's just <clears throat> this season was the one. This summer, like right, because twenty really, twenty really would be this is your fourth season, right? Yes. And, and, and what day? When are we launching? Uh, April fourth. April fourth. April fourth is the day. 4th. So wow, April fourth. This is a slow. That's around the corner. That. Yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, sure. crunch time. <clears throat> it's good. What I like about the truck is that um, it's always like it's always moving. You know what I'm saying? I know that he, you know we have a, a way of doing the dogs and stuff like that, but um, till today, like uh, I still kind of pick up new things that that we can kind of still work on and make better. Right. Whether it be like the cheese under the chips or what, you know, whatever the case <clears throat> might be, but always changing, you know. 
we're, we're, you, you, you guys we're are open to mm. you know to just like it's testing like hey right right that's dope I, i'm not you know i'm not gonna tell you and say this is the only way right, 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 right. i think it works but please show me or please right. show us what yeah, else yeah. works right and if it doesn't i'm gonna tell you of course or <clears throat> i'm gonna suggest something no, or if me, it does like yo good luck like thanks no, for that idea this. does the dave angry sauce work uh, yeah, that's yeah, yeah, it definitely yeah. works. So, <laughs> take my I, time with it. <laughs> what, I, what I do, uh, I used to get in trouble for this all the time with Chris's mom. Actually, I used to put the um, shout out to the mom. Right? Yeah, yeah, seriously. Yeah. I used to shout put, out. Yeah, she loved that house. Uh, no, so this is why also. I got in trouble though, because I used to put the the, the Dave's uh, hot sauce in like a little container. And then just dip my fries in them all. Yeah, yeah, like, all, yeah, yeah. All I remember you doing that. <laughs> and so she would always be like, come, you know, come the next day or something like that. I'm like, dude, what the fuck happened to the sauce, bro? <laughs> the reason, <laughs> the reason yeah. being is because my mom yeah. loves hot sauce, okay. so wow. she actually wanted. She's by the way, you know, just, you know, she's by the way, you know, one of them. She works with us. That's what I said. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. So, so that day I went right. So I was like, um, I was like you know, what? let me go by because one, I never, you know, I want to to post about it. Yeah. And I also want to drop off a couple of bottles of hot sauce. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah, yeah. And, um, Appreciate it. Thank you. No, definitely. And I met your mom, and she was excited. She she was she was loving it. And I I remember seeing Pablo putting in uh, the little cups, and dipping his fries in it. Um, that night, I posted the hot dog and I posted the fries, and um, a friend of mine sent her husband. He got there at 10 o'clock at night. He got there right oh, on shit. time. Right on time. Right on time. Because she was like, yo, them shits look good. I need to have some. She, her husband went to drive at Lord. 10 o'clock at night to Bridgeport. Hey, and they're from Trumbull. Oh, oh, so yeah. You yeah. got to do what you got to do. Yeah. Yeah. Especially, especially to please wifey. Yeah. yeah. And seriously. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> if wifey, <clears> from wifey your, say go get him, you got to go get him for it, real. That's it. <laughs> Whether she's pregnant or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My wife found, you know, she found out, I was, you know, we're going to be making house. So you better bring me one tonight. My wife. Edri. <clears throat> right, your mom. Uh, she was like, "You better not come back <laughs> without one." <laughs> without a hot dog, yeah. Um, no, she was a huge fan of the hot dogs, um, the burgers. Yeah, talk about that. Talk because you guys just don't do hot dogs. No, we don't. Yeah. Talk it, about your don't. menu. It, it started with the hot dog, obviously. Of course. And then, uh, then the, the second, the second one was the burger. Yeah. Okay. The burger was Burgers. another <clears throat> one that it was a hit. If yeah. like, if you look back, it has evolved. If you look at pictures from the old time to now, I'm sorry. Um, the burger has evolved completely, <clears throat> and uh, yeah, just the the whole menu, the patacon, which is the big fried plantain. We actually fry a whole plantain, and um, you gotta get shredded beef, shredded chicken, or both, and then we top it off with the chips. Chips are a must in our culture. Right, right? like chips are. You know, we fills you up. We got you chips, Danny. Yeah, so. country. <laughs> Some chips. So. To <laughs> Yeah, we just add the chips and the cheese, and we just we have different cheese. We have two, three different types of cheeses that we use. And okay. It's just everything. The arepa. Uh, the the now the twist that you guys use do is 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 not between two regular uh, hamburger buns. Is in between. Um, Oh, the arepa burger. Oh, the arepa burger. Oh, no, yeah, the arepa, like, yeah, yeah, that's... No, so we do have the regular burger. Oh, you do? Okay. And, and the arepa burger. Oh, yeah. okay. They're different, though. They actually come with different things on them. Um, the arepa burger comes... Uh, with a slice with, of pineapple. Uh, yeah, uh, well, you, pineapple. It, it use, yes, yeah, a slice of pineapple and ham, whereas the regular Colombian burger doesn't come with ham or... Oh, see, see you guys, you guys, you guys just gave away the secret. Right? <laughs> <laughs> it was a secret. Yeah. It, no, no, it, it's oh, it's on the menu. Exclusive ah. for our listeners. It's, so yeah. It's, yeah. yeah, you see exclusive for the, like, because it's not on the menu. I'm all right, we can't, we can't, we but can't. Again, these are all things that are, you know, evolved and continue to evolve. Uh, right, yeah, last yeah. year, we, we were doing the pineapple, the sliced pineapple on the thing. Right. Um, and, and again, these things continue to evolve. We, I'm gonna say, three quarters of the way into the season, we stopped putting the the, 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 whole, the whole slice <clears throat> of the um, actual pineapple okay. was on we, the burger we, before. We, we found that, you know, um, I think someone brought it home the next day, and you know, it just the, the pineapple wasn't sitting right. And I said, you know what? Let's not take that risk. Right. <clears throat> so things continue to it's, evolve. It's, it's a sit. It's a city. Mixed yeah, with oxygen, exactly. you know, and, yeah. and, and it starts to mixed with yeah. uh, deliciousness. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, yeah, so I could definitely see how that may change by the no, next yes, day. Yes. Yeah. Like I said, we're always open to suggestions, man. Yeah. We're always if if, the, the, if a customer doesn't not like it, but if, if they feel that something can be improved. All right. For the most than, part, more than welcome. I think that we we like to keep it. Um, 
kind of the same in the aspect that we're gonna have the hot dog, the bacon, the chips, and you know everything that comes there's with a it. Base, right? Yeah, there's right. there is a base to it. You know, you, we want to have these things in a certain order just because it holds uh, mm -hmm. properly. But when it comes to you know kind of like sauce um, order and maybe adding extra sauces or even hot sauce, um, it's kind of like up in the air. Uh, just a little bit of history on just how the burger came about for example uh we were just doing straight hot dogs out of my aunt's restaurant at latino restaurant yeah. park Ave. and we've been doing it for years um <clears throat> you know just going from way back like actually like 13 years we started doing something like this and i used to just you know hang out at you know the weekends like i asked my like you know tia can, can can i just make some hot dogs on the side uh and then she would just let me borrow the space and then you know we had people coming in so that was, you know, we did that for a few years. We got videos from way back, like 2005, mm -hmm. where we were making hot dogs. And you know, Kevin's, you know, you can see him seven years old, you know, taking bite out of <laughs> hot dogs. I so, think I see that video. So the history is there. Uh, eventually, I started. You know, I was I was working at Central High School as a teacher's assistant, and I went back to school. And this is where uh, you know Chris took over uh, that the aspect of the event. He probably said, I pretty much said, Oh, Chris, you, know, you can do hot dogs as I'm going to school because I had no time. He took over and, you know, again, that's when the burgers came in. He put his own touch to it. He had a lot of people, you know, uh, so he pretty yeah. much continued right. what we were doing. Right. So it, I'm not it was lie. never. I started with a bubble burger. I was hungry. I was like, you know what? Why not just try it out? And it's improved. It's gotten better. It's <clears throat> way better, obviously. Um, yeah, while he was going to school, I wanna say what? It was like six, seven years? Like four or five years. Alright, damn. Wow. Time flies. I was <laughs> time flies. But, I was uh, still the tester, by the way. Oh, was, how long? Same, how long ago? No, 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 not, ago. not like yeah, no, but how long you did were you in Central? It was like Oh no, I was at Central for like 10, 11 years. Yeah, but for like but it was probably like for like a good five years that he couldn't make it. And not that he couldn't make it, but with school and everything. It was business, yeah, right. yeah, the, the yeah. his the way that his life was set up, obviously. Right. So he yeah, just Keep the name out there. Keep it afloat. You have to. You can't just let it die down. You yeah. Know? It, it, it was something. It was just a stepping stone. In Fridays, Saturdays, I will open up from eight to twelve, and my whole goal was to get people before they went going out, but before the club or, and and it worked. Uh, we had people. I had people show up nine ten o'clock. Hot dog, game burger, yeah. hot dog, game burger. Hot dog, game burger. But we we always saw potential. So yeah. we never. We it stopped was never. Doing yeah. It was never. I, I was never. Well, we were never. <clears throat> Like there was no more, there was never no motivation. Okay. Say. It was just always like we always seen, like you said, the potential and work reach. You and know. Then, and then finally the truck idea is you know, uh, what finally put everything together. Yeah. Yeah. That was that was a good one too. We should <laughs> we should we should get on that story. Man. Yeah. That, let's hear it. Uh, <laughs> nah. It was. Is we have a cousin that uh, makes trailers in Florida. Okay. And. Yeah. He he uh, he makes trailers. So I've always kind of like you know had that. In the back of my head. So I graduated, you know, college. I, you know, did my degree. Uh, started working as a teacher, and then finally I said, okay, now I have, you know, yeah, I'm, I'm a teacher. It is a full time job still, but you know, maybe I can devote. Now that I'm no longer in school, uh, I can devote some time to, you know, getting right. the side business that we've always thought about. Mm. We knew it was going to work. We, you know, we've always had that, uh, the, the idea of, you know, we need to be the first ones to put this out here. Um, <clears throat> so with that, with that drive. I said it's either now or, or never. To yeah. Now or someone else is gonna just put a truck out there. And we're gonna be looking at it like, whoa, wow, yeah. what happened? And not only does it with that literal drive, because we actually flew to Florida to drive the truck back from Florida. <laughs> so yeah, it was 27 hours, me and him, and a nice uh, long well, road well, trip. Yeah. The first four hours, and the truck uh, broke down on us. So. <laughs> yeah, it was like that's why I said that the whole trip, the whole. Just the <laughs> sacrifice that you actually put mm. into bringing the truck up Jeez. and everything, the way it played out, the four hours into the ride, the pickup truck, worth it though. Yo, it's super worth it. Just died sure. down and what do you call it? The, you know, you plant the seed, you know, and is that person who plant that seed that's taking care of it, you know, right. watering it, you know, um, you know, you have a passion and you're gonna sweat, you're gonna put in some sweat, yeah, tears. Sure. Some blood, uh -huh. you know, and oh. yeah. Uh, not with this coronavirus. <laughs> <laughs> no, so yeah, you have that love for it, that passion for it, and that's dope. You know, those those are the ones that really, you know, excel. You you can kind of see like the. Um, it's gonna sound like super corny, I guess you can say, but in, in cliche, but I, you can, you can taste like the love uh, in the food. Really, it just tastes, you know, kind of really authentic for something that's made in 
in a in a food truck. Okay, you know what I think is I noticed too is um, Colombianos they they're very pride you know like they love to right. support yeah, you know like sure. like kind of like the Puerto Ricans you know they they're very passionate yes. about the fl- waving their flag. Yeah. So is the Colombians, man. You, they see a Colombian flag, man. They, they pop they, out, bro. <laughs> <laughs> they pop, they pop out. I like that shit. I love it, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Listen, I man. It's, it's just it's we're, all, we're also very critical, though. We're also like, all right, yeah, that's very true. That that's not. It didn't it didn't meet the standard, so I'm not even going back. Like, so, yeah, so we. Again, I'm, I'm just always there, like, oh, make sure it tastes good. Make sure nothing, you know, gets out that window that doesn't standard, taste. Yeah. Everything's yeah, so no, fresh. For sure. Yeah, sure. you can't. You, um, can have, you can't have bad product. N- 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 no bad product is uh, leaving the truck uh, for the most part. You know, we if, just say if, one, if one is there, <laughs> the we're, one we're is not a hundred percent. We're not perfect, no, uh, and no. things are gonna go out. You know that maybe we, we could have done a little better. Right. Uh, but one thing that you know we we have something against us is like the the cold. Right. Or, you know, the cold like that. So we we cold we closed during the winter because we had a hard time keeping food it's warm. Freezing, bro. Yeah. You know, as, yeah. as we're giving it out, yeah. like it's already starting to you know be cold. You're in, like you're in the metal boxes, yeah. And we had the, um, you know, the what's it called? The, the, oh, the um, the, the exhaust. The, the exhaust. Yeah. So that pulls a lot the, of cold air mm-hmm. in. So it's always a struggle to just like, all right, make sure we, you know, the food comes out warm. Don't close, you know, don't open this window, but then it gets, mm-hmm. uh, you know, that we need to open to yeah. you know, that's obviously yeah. take we're making the a few, We're making a few <clears throat> upgrades to the truck, though, so that's that's not going to be a problem for too long. And honestly... <laughs> but we, we did all right. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, we did, yeah. And honestly, sure. uh, everything is fresh. So we don't just like to make hot dogs and hamburgers and have them sit I'm there, kind of, you know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, it's, it's as you order. So... Having to stand outside in the cold, obviously, for like 10, 15 minutes. Cause it's it worth takes. it. Sit out there, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You yeah. want to sit out there. Little, no, no, no. Summertime, <laughs> it take a little in while. In the summertime, it's, it's, it's a vibe. Summertime, man. But in the wintertime, you still got to stick with it. They got to work with us. They yeah, got to work summertime. with us. So many people ordering at the same time. <laughs> we're, only, we're only four people back there. Hey, but we try even, our best, honestly. Even if it's four, I'll, I'm going to tell you right now, if I wasn't working at the truck, I would I would freeze my fingers off literally if I could just get my hand on on a nice Columbia hot dog. And if we were open in the winter. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, you know. One of the things are one of the things that, um, that people tell us, and it kind of like always stuck in the back of my head. It's like we don't we don't just sell the hot dogs; we sell an experience. Like mm-hmm. when you go, people people have told us. I, like I feel like I'm in Colombia. Like you know, they just kind of yeah. hang out. Yeah. That. It's like oh, the vibe that you know that goes on. Obviously, you know, uh, the, war- the warmer vibe. the better. But you know, people go there and they just kind of hang out, um, and they don't mind waiting because the food is good and because also conversing. Yeah, because when I went, I, I sat down and and I, I mingling. You know, there was a family there yeah. and we were just you know chit chatting. You know, while right. I waited. You know, and next you know, boom, they're calling me because my order's ready. Right, and then and then you you end up staying after a little bit, talking yeah. to that person. So you end up eating with them sometimes, and you know, it's kind of making like new especially when you got the buy in out to playing in the background. You know what I'm saying? It's it's a vibe, you back home. Bro, yeah. it's a I, I kid you not, I, it's, it's, it's crazy because yeah, there there's families that have stayed yeah, out bro, two and a right half now. hours, three hours, just <clears throat> chit chatting, eating, I, listening to music, I, yeah. and you just sit there and you just you're like, you, you know. The it, it, it's worth it. It's like oh oh shit! Like damn, these people actually like this. Bro, like, get, oh shit, that's what's I up. I get crucified at the truck because um, for being Brazilian. Yes, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I play the Brazilian music all the time, Look, bro. Everybody hates. I welcome me. that though. We welcome that. Nice. Oh no, yeah, we love Brazilians. Not, not no disrespect <laughs> to the Brazilians. I'm not, no, nothing bad. But it's just it's just the whole no, uh, oh. being the cultural aspect. It's not bad, it's, but it, it throws you off uh, making the hot dog. Colum- you can't make a yeah, Colombian hot dog. I'm playing funk in the, <laughs> in the truck. We uh, we feel you know we always say it's like oh we put Colombian fast food on the map. Or at least we like to think that we did. Or and then, you know, if someone's going to have something, something like this, let's right. make sure that it goes out and it tastes good and and it has, you know, it's it's done well because people have responded well to right, right. to what we've been putting out. And I hold back whenever I feel like you know what this isn't going to work. We started off like, for example, we had a, a chicken sandwich. Um, <clears throat> it didn't do so well, so we're just like, you know what, man, this isn't our strength. So right. let's not even, you know, w- and when we do bring it back, it's going to have to be, you know, well Beastie. thought out also. And mm-hmm. it's going to have to be top, top tier. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I have Colombian pop yeah, and they never mention this. I think this is the best kept secret of Colombian food. Yes, yeah, they're, they're, they're hard. They to never find. mentioned they're this. They're hard man. to find. They're hard to find. So maybe I'll tell them about yeah. your truck, and then yeah, they'll go to you. Like, all you have to do, all you have to say is just, uh, there's this Colombian hot dog spot. 
that you know because they're hard to find they're gonna be like what columbia hot dog spot let's go there because if you go to columbia every other corner uh-huh. has a columbia hot dog spot no like you said bro is uh what can what can you do to make a hot dog yeah there's so, so much so you say much Colombian hot dog yeah. they're gonna say what's the difference <clears throat> yeah. and then when you just say toppings they're gonna be like Oh, okay, all right. Uh-huh. That that's the difference, you know, the coleslaw, the chips. It's the play of all those yeah, things that just, and, and the way that now. everything, the way that everything tastes. Yeah. It's just they're like, oh, okay, all right, that's a Colombian hot dog. That's a Colombian <laughs> hot dog. Okay. Now, best way to enjoy a Colombian hot dog is uh, some Colombian manzana. Oh, wait, wait, what is it? You have Colombiana. a you have Colombiana, Colombiana the yellow one, one, and the manzana. manzana. My it's preference, <coughs> I like manzana. Manzana. Uh, People call yeah. it pasta one. That's just. The brand, but right, right, you know, right. we know it as manzana. My mother is from Ecuador, so over there we we have the tropical, which tastes okay, like yeah, yeah, this. Yeah, right. Yeah. The Peruvians yeah. got the Inca, Inca cola. Yeah. Inca cola. We don't have anything in Brazil that tastes anything like this at all. No, not even close. Nah, Guaraná. Guaraná Guarana. Guarana tastes. Nah. Okay. <laughs> nah. <laughs> not even a little bit, bro. All right. How about this? How do you guys handle the the the, the soccer? Beef. No, is there a soccer sure. beef? No, no. It's soccer beef. No, no, no. What do you there's, think? There's no beef. Era gol de jepe. That's all I gotta say. Era gol de jepe. Now we're, we're always talking about soccer. Yeah, you know, yeah. we're we're in the truck and we have the little. You know, we have the soccer game we're playing on the phone or yeah. uh, listening to it. Sometimes uh, uh, got the projector. Yeah, yeah sometimes we got the projector out there. So you know. Uh, you know, it quiets down a little bit, so someone's making, obviously someone's always in the truck, uh, but we have the projector open and, mm. you know, we, we're just playing the games right, just because right. it becomes part of the, the summer. You guys yeah. do offer an experience, right? Because I know you guys do the karaoke sometimes. That's dope. Oh, yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. We, we like to, like I said, customers <coughs> are family. So mm-hmm. we sometimes, uh, for kids, um, we do... In in Colombia, there's something called uh, La Feria de las Flores, which is people make uh, f- uh, designs out of flowers, yeah, right? Flower arrangements. Yeah, flower arrangements or whatever. And it's um actual designs, like really nice designs. You see people, they'll design uh, that the late night potluck. Somebody will design it out of flowers. Right, right, right. That, right. that whole image. And um, we have kids come and they'll design stuff like that. Like we'll, we'll make like, we'll make, have like cardboard boxes for them. Sometimes when we can face paint, um, yeah, we, we just try to interact karaoke like you just mentioned. Yeah, everybody just coming down, singing, not caring, projector out, nice warm day, campfire, marshmallow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Campfire. Yeah, we'll do. We, we try. It's 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 the experience and the ambiance. Uh-huh. Not only you're just not only going to eat a Colombian hot dog, but you're going to experience a Colombian hot dog. A lot of these ideas also come you know, like from my background in teaching. I was like, all right, how can I implement whatever I'm doing in there? And you know, keep obviously I'm always thinking about keep uh, keeping students in the loop and keeping mm-hmm. them trying to keep them engaged, engaged yeah. uh, so somehow I'm trying to use these either if I have equipment that I can bring to the truck that it's my own or I, if I can make it so that it's also interactive so now people right. not just buying a hot dog but hey let's get the karaoke right. let's uh, right. listen to music let's so you know all these ideas you know that we come together and try to um, put out there you know work yeah it seems like you're you know you're open to you know suggestions right because a lot of um, businesses are stuck rigid into their old ways and they don't want to hear how to be told to do their job right, yeah, you know right. and, and they, they you know sometimes uh restaurants struggle because of that you know <clears throat> now uh, go ahead oh no no go ahead oh you yeah, can say uh, what, so what address are you guys on, on park at we're in the bridgeport location so uh picking a location was, you know it wasn't too difficult because it kind of it all came together perfect uh, where we are now, 553 Park Avenue, that's my aunt's restaurant, mm-hmm. right on Park Ave, right on Park and Railroad. Mm-hmm. Uh, so again, we've been making hot dogs there for a long time. Mm-hmm. And it just it was just fitting to, to put it right next to it, where there's a big parking lot. Now, how did you get that spot, <coughs> man? That was, that so, was perfect. So we had the city building for us. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, so we went, we started off, uh, when we first got the truck, like, all right, now where do we park? Yeah. You know, so, you know, obviously this first question, where do we go? Uh, we started off by just saying, uh, first day was, was like February, it was like February 15th or 12th. It was really cold. It was a snow, uh, it was a snow day. And we're like, right, where do we park? We just want to get this truck out there. Yeah. And we parked right, um, um, next to Sasoni Mambo. Yeah, right. We parked oh, right next to Sasoni Mambo. We were there for a few weeks. They didn't like, they didn't like it too much. No. They weren't too fond of it, so. 
we were, ta- we were taking all the, the all the customers for Sasani. No, it wasn't. It wasn't. All was the people were coming. They was all coming outside, vibing to our music and our good food and our pretty, you know, pretty women and all that stuff. No, it was. It was. It was, it was just. And we didn't want to step on anybody's toes. Right, 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 they, right, they're right. actually an established business, and mm-hmm. we were just also on the up and coming. We were just like, what can we do? How how, how do we start this? My there my idea was like, all right, we're, if we park there, it's gonna be a win win. They're gonna like, you know, people are gonna come to us. They're gonna you know enjoy the music, right, and then they're right. gonna go in there, or they're gonna leave the place, and you know just ha- enjoy uh, some of the food after they leave the club. <clears throat> um, that again, that was just my thought behind. It's like, well, why would they care? I'm actually kind of providing a service mm-hmm. for whoever's leaving the truck, and so it's gonna be like a win-win, which is very customary of anywhere you go in, in a lot of places. You have this nice food out there, uh, but they didn't, you know, they didn't feel that way. Uh, they were just kind of, you know, they'll send someone else. It's like, hey, you guys gotta go. You're kind of taking over, um, which I understand. I, you know, never said anything. So I was like, yeah, all right. right. But we noticed that there was not, uh, they weren't happy. So yeah. I didn't, we didn't want to deal with that each week. Um, and finally, they just figured out. Like, you know, let's just park a car where they park. Yeah. Oh, and it was like, oh, guys, just like, ah, right, they got it. Like, let's go somewhere <laughs> else. Uh, we then went to um, Main Street. Yeah, Main Bank. Street, right in front of uh, People's Bank. Right in front of the lake, oh, near the arena. Yeah. Right yeah. And so oh, we were there. For, yeah, I actually like that spot. That spot's pretty cool. Yeah, we, like should, we should start going back there. You guys ever do the the farmers market? Yeah, downtown Bridgeport is pretty cool. Oh, yeah, yeah, we did the far uh, on, uh, on, on the green. Downtown. On the green. Yeah. We've done that. We did that. It was well, our first year, well, we first did it two twice, years, right? yeah, first two years. <laughs> we did, yeah, we did it twice. Oh, right? you guys did downtown Thursdays as well, right? Yeah, yeah. we did so, Thursdays, Fridays, Saturdays. Just, just to finish off the story on how we landed on where we are. Um, so again, just being on that main street area in front of People's Bank, uh, one of the struggles was finding a parking spot that was secured. So we would have mm-hmm. to send someone an hour ahead mm-hmm. just to save a parking. Uh, not only that, but once we parked, like, ah, make sure it's not too early because then we had to, we were limited to two hours or the parking meters, or let's say maybe there's no parking. So uh, a lot of the times we were just stuck waiting, waiting. Uh, we just didn't want to deal with that. We wanted to make sure we had a secure spot. We wanted to make sure that when we park, it's also a trailer, so it's not easy to just get into uh, spots. Yeah. And we, you know, one day, uh, you know, we just looked, I was like, you know what? Let's just go over, you know, next to my aunt's restaurant. So at the beginning, we was like, oh, we don't want to uh, cause competition with her. But then it actually worked out beautifully because now we feed off of each other. Mm-hmm. So a lot of people come to us and they, you know, just go and uh, sit yeah. down and enjoy. So it's a family business. Yeah. And we're all, you know, we're just in the best interest of um, helping each other out. So right. that was just perfectly fitting. And that wasn't a parking spot. That was just a, just a closed up yeah, area. So and then when they fixed... Roosevelt, Roosevelt School. They made it into the parking lot. They made it into a parking lot for teachers. And, and you know, since my boy's a teacher, he got the hookup. So he's <laughs> like, all right, you know. So they didn't build it for us, but no. But we, you know, they built that, and we. It was just. It was just perfect timing. Right, because so teachers at home are gone by the time Saturday. Saturday. Yeah. We, yeah. We, Saturday were, yeah. we were parking yeah. there on, you know, we we're trying to park there on Fridays, but again, teachers were there. Yeah. So some teachers just leave at 5, 5.30, and so we didn't want to do that. So we then just started, you know, it's Saturdays, I think it's a spa. And we can get there at any time, and it's just... It just worked out. No one's ever giving you trouble. Police. No one's ever giving us trouble. The police come are, on, you know, police cooperating. Come and yeah, yeah, they're good customers. Come on, man. I like the police. They're good customers. Yeah. Uh, we love when we have the police. Those are the. We, those just, are yeah, we love. I, I love everybody, man. Again, another Mom one of those. Uh, another one of those um, aha moments is when I I looked outside one day and uh, the whole lot was just filled with with cars. Right, 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 right. That's kind of like, oh, the, the, we got these people here. Yeah. Yeah. We, we we were making this happen, and that was. Um, again, that was just like one of those moments where you go like, wow, like we're doing something uh, positive, we're doing something productive, we're, we're getting this done. So that was, that was pretty cool to, to be able to find that spot, pretty much own it, or at least feel like we own it. Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's how I, I look at it like, that's your spot. Uh, yeah, uh, easy to get to, right off exit 27, you know, parking. off the... We got parking. Yeah, yeah, we got parking. parking. So right. Paris, we're right under the, uh, the highway, actually. Yeah, right under the 95, yeah. yeah. So rain doesn't bother us. Rain or shine. Uh, yeah. Yeah, rain or shine. The sun in the summer doesn't bother us. So it was, yeah, it was, it was built for us. Yeah. It was built for us. And, you know, we're making it home. We, we're we're making it home. Pedacito de Colombia. Really? Yeah. 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 Like I said, we, we, we bring out the camp. We bring out the, the bonfire. We start a fire. Kids roast marshmallows. We'll sit there and have the music. Less. It's more of the experience, the ambiance. The whole, That's good. 
everything. Now then, now you expanded to uh, Norwalk. Yes. Uh, when did you guys do that? We've, we've always had our target in Norwalk. Okay. We, we've right. always said, you know, matter of fact, before we even go to Bridgeport, we want to open Norwalk. Yeah. This is where I, all I, the, uh, yeah, yeah, this is where all the Colombians are at. There's a lot of Colombians in Norwalk. So that, that was always our idea. It's like, we have to just go to Norwalk. We have yeah. to find a spot. Uh, again, same concept. We're just looking for somewhere to park. We park near. It was a uh, sauna. We parked like, yeah, right, 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 right near sauna, sauna. Right next to the. Um, it was like, oh, that, that, that's where it's oh, yeah, popping. Right that's where everybody's at. And we tested that for a few weeks. We eventually found that that wasn't our market. Mm -hmm. uh, we would have a lot of people passing by, but they would just kind of look at us like, who are you? What are you doing? Like, what's a Colombian hot dog? So it wasn't our market. Um, you know, not a lot of Colombians were, you know, would be passing by. So we decided that that's not what we wanted. They were congregating do. somewhere else. <laughs> uh -huh, yes. um, and it was literally right down the street because we yeah. moved a block, block and a half down. And now, then, now it's our home. Yeah, that's another home. home. Yeah, it's a, it's now a it's home. Our home. Yeah, Norwalk is dope, dude. We always get like. Uh, super popping in Norwalk you know we don't even have we don't have the same space uh, and we don't have like the the fireplace also we right. don't have but like, we get the, the same amount of people it's the same it's amount of people yeah, yeah they show mad love it's, it's, it's dope actually the thing I like it about it is that um, Norwalk is also not too far from Bridgeport so if you miss out on it on the day that it was in Bridgeport you can literally just take like a 10 15 minute drive now and, where, uh, uh, where where's that location when, when are you there so it's on Friday, uh, Friday nights. We we have to wait for the library to close. Okay. Again, yeah. parking We're in front of the okay. public library. Okay. Uh, but they also love us. You know, they actually, you know, someone, one of the employees, goes out there uh, about an hour before we the get there, there and yeah. just puts the cones out there and save ah. the spot for yeah, it. Yeah. Yeah. So we again, we've be, we've built relationships with people cool. around us so that they're they're mm -hmm. finding ways of helping us out. Yeah. Sure. Uh, they don't mind us out there. They don't mind us. You know, just being out there again, and so eventually they, they said, you know what, we'll help you guys out. And they just put a cone out there for us about a half hour before we get there. And then yeah, I mean, I, I would too. I w they get free hot dogs. Yeah. So. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I go to the laundromat across the street, the guy's like, yeah, don't even worry about it, bro. Just leave the food, the, leave the leave the clothes, and I got you. Oh, yeah. really? Yeah. Oh, oh, really? <laughs> you were supposed to be. Mob ties, mob We always, you know, just look out for whoever's helping us out. We, you know, we try to just get back. Mm -hmm. um, that's good. You know, one hand washes the other. Yeah, that's good. Right? You know, and 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 I, and I can see, you know, you being a teacher that comes natural. You know, you work with a bunch of kids, a bunch of badass kids, probably. Um, <laughs> 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 those fair child kids. Are cool. I can't. Nah, I can't. I can't They're cool. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, he meant he meant us. He meant us. Oh, <laughs> well, that's the kids that he has to this do. is yeah. the kids he's talking about. Uh, <laughs> except that one over there. He's uh he's a troublemaker. <laughs> Alright, he's going he goes to Fairchild? Yeah. Alright, that's what I <laughs> Come see me. Who's your Spanish teacher, Anthony? Uh, 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 another one. <laughs> is it him or no? No, 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 no that's not right. The other <laughs> Same last right name? Yeah, yeah, Ferraro. Ferraro. Yeah, 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 right here. Wait, maybe he mispronounced it. You have a Ferraro? You better you be the best Ferrero, Ferra Ferrero or Ferraro. You better represent that F, bro. Yeah, All right, that F last name, man. That's your, that's your anti. <laughs> no, 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 there's actually three Ferraros, Ferrero, Ferrero. I just be like, I'm Ferrero, right? That's so it. there's a Ferraro, oh, Ferrero, and they're all Spanish. Uh, and tomato, <laughs> tomato, potato, potato, bro. All right, man, it works. <laughs> the only thing I'm catching, I don't know, that's not a Colombian hot dog hat. No, 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 I, 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 uh, I forgot my name. The only one I'm not liking is this guy right here. Uh, Patriots hat. Patriots Patriots hat. Oh, no, 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 no. That's why you turned it backwards. Man. <laughs> That's why I, I just sure. like how it looks. Hey, I you, actually did, don't even support it. Did you Patriots. hear that Tom Brady's going to uh, Vegas? Uh, I did not hear any of that, actually. I'm probably starting rumors. You, know? <laughs> <laughs> you heard it here first, all right? Everybody, you heard it That's here right, first. Late night public show, you heard but, uh, it first. Uh, I heard something. The, the guy is over at XFL. Um, uh, oh, really? Um, I thought he's going to go to, like, the... Uh, I heard some Raider talk. I heard some uh, 49er talk uh, with man, Tom Brady. As long, as, long as it ain't the Patriots, I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> My thing is soccer, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm yeah. Brazilian. I work at a Colombian food truck. I do soccer. Soccer's my thing. Yeah, right? I'm a Giants fan. <laughs> fan. We're talking hot dogs now, yeah. guys. Right, <laughs> moving on. So moving the best on. thing moving on the menu I want to say is that it. Oh, look at Kevin. Hey, <laughs> Kevin, he's right there. 
<laughs> yeah, so how, how was the atmosphere in the truck? Is it always like this? You guys have fun or like? You guys oh say, yeah, oh, no, it's just, just, oh my gosh, you know. Or you guys kill each other inside. You know what they tell you? You know what they tell you? You can't work with family. A small metal cage filled with testosterone and the hotness from the grease. It gets hot in there, bro, but it's all love. You know what I'm saying? We always try to help each other out. and I was laughing because I I went there the first time and I saw them like. How many people are in there? <laughs> it's not that uh, like it's a, not a food car, truck. Right? It's, it's, like a it's not a food car. truck. It's a trailer. It's a trailer. You know, okay. and you know something where you like transport a car or whatever. Uh-huh. I don't know. And I'm looking like I'm looking in the windows like how many? One, two, Ooh, three. Yeah, Jesus. Like, Every time somebody moves, there's one behind that person and then behind that person. <laughs> it's fun though. It's uh, fun. The yeah, atmosphere we, inside it is always it's, it's always like a party. I mean, I'm not, right. it's still a kitchen. It's still you know it's still uh-huh. work. It's still right, right. We're, we're like we're always trying to push for each other. Like yo. Either hurry up on this side, right, right. so uh-huh. it's still sure. we're, we're all been, trying to push right, each other. Right. To, mm-hmm. So it's not always going to look. I've pretty. been trying to push. Right, for, right, right, right. I've, I've been sure. trying to push for a camera. That's what I want. We want to like you like a want dash cam. Yeah, yeah, just to put up there, and I'm telling you, it'll be a uh, it'll be a uh, reality television. <laughs> hey, yo, you know got gum drama there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I know uh, you guys have a YouTube, but it's outdated. So you, yeah, I want to see some yeah. videos. At the end there. of the day, though, we're still family. We still, you know, at the okay. end of the day, we're like, it's all love. We man. know, sure, you know, it's we know good. it's not personal. And so most of the time, we're, you know, we're having a good time. Right. Oh, we're you know, from six, do, you know, from six to ten, <laughs> it's business. Closing time. Have our fun. That we have our fun. Nobody now. goes home mad. Right? No, you can't. Never done, man. How you gonna go mad? Look at these hot dogs, bro. So you were mentioning about the your market initially that like you wanted like the Colombians as your market. Anything, anything like a surprise to you? Like who love your product? Everyone loves our product. Like we we have people from every part of the world coming to see us, and so of course we target Colombians because mm-hmm. there's it's it's not even a sale. Like we already know that they know what our okay. Colombian hot dog right. is. So as long as you say Colombian hot dogs, like okay, they know what they're getting and they know what they're expecting. Uh, but once we reach out to other cultures, you know, they just keep coming back. We've had, last year we we came up with this fries, right? So you, you had the fries. And then suddenly we, we stumbled upon what was called uh, Jarao's or something. Like it was like suddenly like there's this Dominican uh, typical oh, yeah. fries and beef flavors with the sauces. It's like, oh, we just didn't know that we were making that. But then, you know, we started seeing a little bit, mm. you know, not a... A lot, you know, a lot of people from the Dominican Republic just show up like, oh, can we get those fries? I said, why, you know, I wasn't wondering why. I was upset, but I was, like, say, I, say, no, I was wondering why because I'm like, exactly. Why are all why the are, why are all And they're asking those for the it's, fries. Because it's nothing, yeah, and it, it's nothing. Until mean, one guy came and said, like, you guys are selling the best, uh, maybe I'm saying, like, Jaraos or Jaraos something. And then, you know, he looked it up. I'm like, this is exactly what wow. we make, and we didn't even know what we were doing. Of course, they eat it's culture other stuff. bonding. And we also have not everything. We also do have vegetarian dishes. Not a lot, obviously, because but we do have beyond meat. Though it's, we have that beyond meat. Oh yeah, yeah. beyond meat. Yeah. <laughs> no, we don't have no meat. <laughs> Um, but uh, yeah, just uh, with the arepas, which is the flat corn ya, cake, ya, mm-hmm. the Yadoa. fries, the coleslaw. Yaroa, is that what Yadoa. it's called? Yaroa? Yaroa. 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 Okay. Yaroa. That's so what basically, it is. it's a, you know, fries with ground beef, mayo ketchup, and cheese. Uh, yeah, so, so we, but we, yeah, got our, yeah, we, we have a brisket. Yeah. We was really making we that. Own touch. We have oh, more yeah. sauces. Our meat is like a, br- a brisket. brisket. Right? Isn't that what it is? What, is, what does that mean? We... Yeah, it's like a shredded beef. Yeah. And if you want, you can also get shredded chicken instead of the beef. So okay. we also do. The so menu is it's huge. Mm-hmm. There's a lot of different options. Uh, every, the, every, basically, everything has like a super to it. So uh, the hot dog has a super version to it that comes with like extra toppings. It's a ham, a quail egg, a few sauces. Quail egg. Quail yeah, egg. yeah, yeah. It's it's real cool. Um, the the hamburger as well, or the cheeseburger, we also have a super version for that one that also comes with ham and um, a few different sauces and things like that. Uh, it's a huge menu though, you know what I'm saying? You can kind of flop around the, the menu items too, so if you don't like a certain thing, you can kind of replace it with, you know, a, a little something else. Mm-hmm. Um, everything is good though, so it doesn't matter yeah, what you're We're always trying to add to the menu, but we, you know, I, I you know, kind of being like the leader, uh, uh-huh. I personally, you know, it's at my fault, like I hold back a lot because I feel like, okay, we, we're already having, doing, yeah. uh, you know, all these amount of people waiting, we don't want to add too much because then we, we don't want to overextend right. ourselves right, to right, that right. Yeah. Uh, and Spread then we're still limited one. in space. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. How much can we do before we can, <clears throat> you know, uh, overextend ourselves? Right, always right. A, the balance we that had, we're trying to find, but. You know, for, for kids, time. you guys have like Sachi Papa. 
Yes. Yeah. yeah. Sachi Baba. Ten- we have tenders too. Yeah. We have tenders, chicken tenders. Tenders yeah. and fries if kids yeah. want. So Sachi Baba is basically hot dogs and fries. Yeah. yeah. You guys do the little cutting or. Not the octopus <laughs> ones. <laughs> no, <laughs> not the octopus. No. Oh, you know, uh, that's, that's what I do. Though, honestly, I'm not going to lie. Gosh, my mom made the best one. But it's all That's the only seafood you eat. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, I don't like seafood except for if you cut the <laughs> hot dog. <laughs> if you cut the little hot dogs like octopuses, then. Oh, yeah. Oh, I never peeped that. Yeah. Yeah. But it all started like that, like as a kid. Right. In Ecuador, your, si your mom <laughs> would make you french fries and hot dogs. Or you would go and obviously eat french fries and hot dogs. So it's just like. This place is just, uh, this place is in Colombia and I'm sure Ecuador, Peru, uh, mm-hmm. you just focused on Sachi Papa. Right, right, right. right, right, right. right. Like, That's yeah, it. The place they is perfect. Like, how to make Sachi french fries pasta. and hot dogs, sachi papa, so. So, um, professional fryers. <laughs> you know, in the Philippines, growing up, we like a hot dog with rice. Oh yeah? Oh, Interesting. Yeah. So I put hot dog and rice, Filipinos will come to your truck, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh yeah, so the Filipinos will <laughs> put rice in the, uh, in the dog. Rice and everything. Put rice on top. <laughs> Before we open the truck, oh, go ahead. Yeah, it's, I was gonna say it's super bonding. Uh, and another like way, um, I have a roommate. He's actually um, Vietnamese, and um, I don't know. May, I could be wrong, but he was super into the quail egg, and mm. that was kind of like what drew him into the hot dog. Oh, and, then okay. he, and so he got his Vietnamese friends involved. Like, hey, dude, they have the fucking quail egg yeah. on the dog, bro. You know what I'm saying? Let's let's try it out. So that. I think it's pretty cool. It, you know, it brings everybody together. With, yeah, all, these ideas like coming to, with all these ideas coming together, um, you know, uh, initially I was like, you know what, I'm going to make the, this, I'm gonna come up with this concept. It's going to be the international hot dog. Uh-huh. Uh, and I also was like, all right, what's the Colombian hot dog? But let's, there's got to be a version of the Ecuador, um, the Brazilian yeah, hot dog, Brazilian the Cacho Canji, yeah, right? So Cacho I was you know, just kind of doing my research on let's, let's make, this is going to be called the international hot dog. We went through a few names. Yeah, yeah. Um, but that was one of the ideas that I had out there. I even had some designs to so like, all right, this, this has got to be something that we could do. And uh, we ended up just, you know, sticking to just let's mm. make it the Colombian hot dog. Let's perfect this. And then if we can branch out to something else, we can do that. I'm still looking for um, Pablo to. Yeah, man. Uh, my mom's been holding out on the Colombian, I mean, the Brazilian uh, hot dog recipe. So. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm sure, you know, we can. We don't. We always have uh, yeah. options of being out there. <clears throat> uh, but you know, talk about the international. Like a lot of people from different cultures again yeah. are always just showing up, and you know, they they come back. So that's how we know. We you know, people are liking the food and they're enjoying. Right, right. Uh, not only you know the food, but the time that we that they spend there that because we, they are coming back. Uh, yeah. Over and over. So Dominican, no, so Puerto Rican. <clears throat> we uh, we opened for the Dominican, um, the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Uh, yeah, people yeah. from from Cambodia, yeah, it's always showing up. Yeah, really? I have a lot of Cambodian friends, so really? uh, yeah. yeah, they always come and show up and always have a blast there. Especially wow. like he said during the Puerto Rican Day Parade. Um, we also open up and uh, we have in July, mid July, we have a block party. Oh yeah, yeah, tell us about that block party. Oh. Uh, <laughs> one for the ages. Which you didn't hear yet? Yeah. You didn't hear about the block yeah, party. Yeah, I want to hear that. I want to hear. <laughs> people want to hear about it. It's, it's one for the ages, man. Um, the block party has been going on for years. I'm talking about uh, my aunt. She was the originator of actually, since I'm, mind you, I'm 32. Fine, how long have we been going to those? Block? Even Kat, like we've been those block parties. My aunt has been throwing them for at least 20 years. But we, for the past four years, five years. Since yeah, since the truck's been yeah, the truck, actually since before that, like, we used to make the hot dog outside, outside yeah, yeah, without the truck. That. Without the truck, truck. Girls outside. so we started that. promoting it and we brought in a, you know the younger crowd. Right, uh, right, so right. it was just instead of just it a mixture bigger of bigger and bigger. The lit it crowd. can yeah, it, it came. It, lit, it, it mean it lit. Nah, <laughs> it, it kept it kept getting bigger and bigger. Um, <laughs> both crowds actually went and just. It was just a good time. So it's a lot of it's a lot of it's a lot so of, this year we actually yeah so, this year we actually had close to what five six hundred. But it, it was uh, it finally came together because we were at that spot that we talked about right. and it was just perfect. It was just perfect because we you know it's kind of closed up. Yeah. Um, again under the sun, so no one you really have to worry about the sun being mm-hmm. um, too hot or anything. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you know everything just came together perfectly, and this summer we just saw it evolve to this massive thing that we saw. I, I can't even. I don't even know how many. That's why I said it was probably it, like, but we have. It, it was it was well over a thousand people that showed up. Not obviously not at once because it didn't fit. 
you know what I'm right, saying? Right, right, I'm, right. I'm saying throughout the overall, day. Overall, right, you know, right. Yeah, overall throughout the day. Definitely, you know. But I want to say at one point, it was like, yeah, at one point, it was like 500 people. It's, and we we have four or five different DJs, you know. We, we, we make the ambiance and the environment worth it. Right, right. But it's, it's always just, mind you, it's all peace, love. There's no fights. It's lit. Uh, it's you know, lit. <laughs> it is lit. It's just yeah. music, food, a good, good time, vibes. good vibes. I, I can't believe that so many people showed up. You know, show up every year, but this year was just like... No, this year, yeah, because it's the last couple of years, uh, you know, two, three hundred people. And, but this year... One of the one of the problems was that uh, we used to we were the, uh, near the restaurant and we used to park on the other side, so it was always a park uh, a problem with the parking, uh, mm-hmm. not parking, but the traffic. Yeah, it because was, we used know, to actually do a block park, okay, like so, on the actual yeah, side and, and, and then the there would whole. be so many people that you know people would start to trickle down into the streets. So that became, you know, a reason for the police to show up and like, ah, right, you yeah. guys are getting a little too much. They started bringing it down. So this year it was. It, it was just perfect because no one was on the street. No, you know, uh, it, it was just good, good. it was just a perfect combination of uh, the place, the ambiance, the day that it was. You know, just again being under the the, the, the overpass. underpass. Yeah, yeah. Right, right. Anyway, I thought yeah. I thought that Brazilian people like to party, bro. Like I I went to oh. dude, I went to a couple uh, of of the black parties <clears throat> and um, it was pouring rain. They didn't give a fuck, bro. <laughs> they didn't care at all. They did not care. The, they showed yeah, up. They supported. Man. You know what I'm saying? They they, they had their good time. Uh, always, rain or shine. Always, man. Always. And yeah, it's just this. Expect expect this year to obviously be better. Cause. All right. So uh, one of the things you know uh, we've been talking, and uh, one of the things that we are doing this year that's going to be a little different. Um, so the guys are committed to. Again, I'm a teacher, so I'm limited to the time that I'm able to, mm-hmm. which is why mm-hmm. I kept. We've kept uh, this is a weekend thing, uh, <clears throat> so you know <clears throat> some of us we're committed to opening uh, more days out of the week. So instead of just being a weekend thing, we're now going to be doing something that's uh, throughout the week. You know, uh, Monday through Friday in the mornings. You heard, you heard it. Monday through Friday in the mornings. It's gonna. You it's, heard it here first, all right? Everybody you heard it. Night you show. heard it. Seriously, it's, it's gonna right. be good for everybody. You know, the people who miss it out on Friday and Saturdays, uh, they're gonna get it on. Monday, mm-hmm. Monday, bro, or Tuesday, or Wednesday, so, or Thursday. So, so we're we're looking to expand uh, on the time. So we okay. want to do uh, lunch time. Well, lunch time. We're we're looking for the better, lo- the best location to have this. Uh, we're looking for. I think we're gonna start off again, just testing things out to right, see right, how. Right. Uh, well, getting our but, feet wet, you know, testing waters, seeing mm-hmm. what works and what doesn't. Yeah. It's like a filling yeah. out process. Try, uh, I don't know, contacting some. Um, so you're not all at the same spot all the time on corporate places. We right. we're gonna try out. Is it 90 acres one? Yeah, we're gonna start off with 90 acres. We we actually like to be stable. We like okay. to you yeah, know yeah, like yeah. for you to not move around too much. Yeah. I don't know if everybody. I don't know if you guys know where 90 acres is. Oh yeah, uh, Tasty Yolk. Uh, yeah, Tasty Yolk. Exactly. We're Tasty Yolk. Uh, 100 degree. Uh, oh, is that what Actually, well, they have, they have they uh, have multiple trucks. They got one in Black mm. in Black Rock and the one in Park. Shout out Tasty Oak, man. Tasty Oak is amazing. Yo, honestly, I've yeah. never had it. You never had it. I honestly, no. shout out Tasty Oak. Never. You don't you wake up early enough. Yeah, I'll, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You, you've had them here as yes. guests. Oh yeah. man, yeah. shout out Tasty Oak, man. Yeah. They, we've done they, we've done festivals with them. They, man. They, so they go. They have their own. They have location there. Yeah, they have. They actually just got a building. No, they actually just got a building this year. What's up, man? Bless up. Fairfield. Yeah. Um, on Black Rock. Black Rock. What do you call it? Um. Fairfield Lab? Yeah, it's Fairfield Lab. Oh, but right. the Black Rock area. Okay. Yeah, Tasty yeah, yeah. Oak, it's goals for us. You know, like we we always look into, all right, who's else? You know, who's also out there doing this? Right. And, who, and not how just are they that. So not, not just that. You see, not for nothing though. You look at that little truck at Tasty Oak, and you, the the way that they boom, they they're doing a the damn thing. It's it's right. It's, they they, it's, they, it's they really started. Good. They got one. Yeah, they got they two. Got two. Now they got three yeah. trucks. And it's just you know it's improvement. And like you said, it's goals. It's where you see yourself with the food truck. It's basically a breakfast sandwich but it's like oh really really good great mm-hmm. quality you know it's not just your bacon egg and cheese oh, word. Like steak again. egg and cheese word, or word. duck meat or oh shit, oh, shit. No, they do it's not different. Yet. again it's not maybe just, i don't wake up early enough like it, one side <laughs> it's not just it's not just your typical hot dog right, right. that's exactly. why right, right, right. Right. also the consistency you know you see that you know you find ways of oh you, you find examples of people who are doing it and then you find into you know you look into these examples of uh, businesses that are or that could be just like the one that you have mm-hmm. and then we try to mimic what works uh we're not there because they're there we just found that you know last time we parked there we found that that worked and plus we're not going to be in any competition there yeah, yeah, yeah. Truck. we're going to be uh, during the lunch hour so mm-hmm. we're not going to be uh bumping you know bumping heads right. or at least i hope that, you know mm-hmm. we're not um well, 
No, nah, we, we won't. No, but you know, again, it's a different, uh, different it's type of food, so different right. product, I mean, different. Um, you know, you're gonna have people that are looking for pizza. You're gonna have people looking yeah, for. Man. Yeah, I mean, know? people want variety. At the same time, they want to be have choices of same high quality. Uh-huh. What well, happened? And food, that's actually you know? a good thing, right? You're, you're gonna yeah. attract people because let's say you know you're uh, some guys, you know, four or five guys. Right, right. Let's go somewhere. Uh huh. Not everybody's gonna want to have the same thing. Yeah, that's yeah, a fact. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, a, that's, yeah, that's, actual, that's 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 facts. I, I didn't think about it. I, I would like mm-hmm. to make it a, a thing where it becomes a spot to go for yeah. food oh, trucks. Right. You know, so it's like for you unique, go. high quality food. You know, yeah, yeah. like that's a variety the spot. of different spots. Yeah. Even Columbia and hot dog. Honestly, uh, yeah. honestly, come on, man. What kind of lineup is that? Tasty Oak, and then once they're moving on, because oh wait, breakfast. are they still? Oh, they're still there. They're I didn't. Oh, oh, I didn't know that. Didn't yeah, know but that. they're there in the morning. Uh, no, they're there in the morning. But see, that's what I'm saying. The lineup. Damn, Tasty bro. Oak. Tasty Oak in the morning. The and Columbia then hot Columbia dog in the afternoon. And then they have the pizza place. And, and then they have the pizza place. place. Right. Yeah. Nah, food trucks are the way to go, man. There's a lot of people with food trucks. Uh, it's yeah. actually it's, it's it's a good thing. Trailers, trucks. On my way to um, on my search to to find a spot that works. I, you know, walked up to someone who had a truck um, who was already stable and I said, you know what, again, with this idea of like, let's make it a spot where more than one truck shows up and kind of feeding off each other and I pitched the guy the idea, he looked at me like I was crazy, he said, you're just trying to feed off of my 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 spot, like, like, it was never like that, so I automatically, I just kind of shut me down, I was like, you know what, like, yeah. I thought I was gonna bring business to you. Right. Here you are, shutting me down, thinking that. So not is, everyone's right. open to That's you know right. to doing things like right. this. Is, yeah, but right. if if I can make it so that, or we can make it so that it's it becomes a, a the spot to be either in the morning, afternoon, or night. What you know? Why not? It's also, like, it's also it's, super ideal because Sacred Heart is right yeah. there, and like yeah. um, not for nothing. Like I don't, you know, maybe they never heard of uh, the climbing hot dog before. Right. And like literally, it's it's a walk's distance oh. from Sacred Heart to. And also, to the not spot, for nothing so. though, we were in Florida. I don't know if you guys have been to Florida, um, yeah. but um, they have the the world of food trucks. I think uh, that's what it's called. Is it the world of food trucks. Well, uh, there's, there's a bu- you got Disney World. You got the yes. world of food trucks. Yeah, no, and it's, <laughs> it's just, actually it was, uh, near uh, Disney World. It's actually near, and me and Juan, we uh, we were just again. Which I want. <laughs> oh, come on, guys! Come on! Be a little bit respectful. Well, um, there's, there's about 25, 30 food trucks just all in one spot. Yeah. So why can't? Like, yeah, it was just so why can't we do the same basic? Probably look you know at what I'm look saying? at like, like Food Haven or New Haven, uh, the long yeah, the, the long like long. Yeah, yeah, so it's this concept that you know we would like to you know to mm-hmm. bring up and hopefully that that does work out. There's again. a place in Bridgeboro that man, Manny uh, again too bad he couldn't be here, but um, we talked about you know. Um, on Capitol Avenue, there's a lot there, and shit, you know. Oh, on Capitol Avenue, yeah, Capitol. Where's that, where's that lot? You know, um, I thought that clinic where they would oh. where the aquarium is at. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly. Oh, facts. Talking, I, know exactly. I know exactly where that is. Big yeah. lot. Just we're, o- we're, open. Oh, yeah. we're open to ideas. We're open to ideas. Uh, one of the things we're, we're limited to, we're somewhat limited to being either near other businesses. We're limited to not being on, <clears throat> on Main Street, right. for example. So this is your round. Plenty of businesses, and is right off Route Eight. So yeah. it's like, it's, it's, I think it would be dope, it would be a good, perfect place, but uh, it's just, you just gotta make some moves. Nah, yeah, man, it's just, sure. as long as, man, it's just, like I said, everybody eats, man. Everybody yeah. just, mm-hmm. it, it, it'll just get to a concept where one food truck, another food truck, another food truck. And like I said, just have something like that where, babe, yo, bro, you wanna go eat a burger, I wanna go eat the Brazilian pizza, food, or I wanna go eat a slice yeah, of yeah, pizza yeah. or anything like, like that. And it's just like, alright. That'd be so dope. You get me? Like, somebody pulls just, up and then it also adds like new opportunities for people. And it's, and it's good food. You get me? It's not just your random McDonald's or your random, and again, nothing wrong with that. Shout out to wrong, but it's just, <laughs> yeah, shout out to McDonald's, man. Shout out to Burger King, all that. We've all had don't, it. Don't need no shout outs. Yeah, yeah, yeah seriously. They're they're big, shout big shout big no, man, we've all, we've all had it, but again, it's just when you, when you know the difference in food and being authentic and being good and being, like, mm. I'm one where I've, I'm eating, yo, I love, I love to eat. I love to eat. I mean, you might not see it, but I mean, I've gained I know, a we pounds. see it. <laughs> but, uh, but no, I love to eat. The so. truck is getting tighter and tighter. <laughs> so, yeah. So, um, it's just, it, it, it's, it's always, it's always cool and it's always, it's always dope just to be able to go and experience food and just, I'll spend money, I, I've spent money on steak and it was fucking amazing. It's like, yo, dude, fuck, like, Bill comes and you're just so fucking satisfied. This is like, I bet, here. You get me like, fuck it. 
So again, part of my French. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So again, that, that's on location. That's uh, that's, that's the French. plan that we have. So right. um, mm-hmm. not on the fourth, but we're gonna open on the fourth, just on the weekend. April fourth. Yes. April fourth. And then we're gonna uh, we're gonna take advantage that we're gonna be well, I'm gonna be off at work from from the school. We're gonna have that week off on the of the thirteenth. That's when we're planning on starting off the you know the daily uh, lunch hours. Again, okay. we're, we're testing waters. We're just trying to see how this works. Uh, so my guys are committed to, to being out there. We're Super committed, man. <laughs> and it is going to work, so it's, it is going to go into the summer and everything fall. else. Yeah. We just hope to see you guys out there, honestly. Absolutely. Like during the weekday, at least. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, actually, I, actually, actually. I work in New Haven, so I'm, oh, we're gonna, we're, I'll be there on Saturdays. We're going to deliver. Oh, right. oh yeah. are we delivering, too? I don't want to not see that now. <laughs> now, now I'm over here. Now, now it's going to be a good season. Challenge accepted. This is going to be a good season. No, bro, seriously, I think 2020 is like the perfect, it's a clean slate, basically. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we can try all new things, mm-hmm. see if it's, it's the beginning, too, so. It gives us a perfect opportunity to just kind of try new things and uh, see if they work or not. <coughs> you know, if, if delivery is one of them, why not? I don't mm. see why not. You know, um, somebody's down. I mean, uh, who, I guess who, who, I think you, there are so processes that you learned already. Right. And you figure out how it works. And then now it's like, it's an opportunity for you to take some risks. Exactly. No, things. yeah. Like for you, sure. you figure this out and then, okay, take some risks. I think right. grow. Uh, yeah. being a fourth you know? year, I, you know, again, just kind of. Uh, taking care of this baby now mm-hmm. I wanted to I, I don't want this to fail so it's always been me uh, being a we call it self-employment so I felt like you know it's, unless I'm out there it's not running well so again we build enough uh, of a system where mm-hmm. everyone knows what to do I you know we build trust in each other that we're all, you know we're gonna make it work and you know being the fourth year you know we just felt that it was appropriate uh, to to just to try it, you know. Try this, you know nothing you know. Take a little risk. Um, and so yeah. this is this is the year to, of making the, that move, mm-hmm. and we're not gonna hold back. We're you know we're gonna make right. it work, and because we we have the team, we have the commitment, we have uh, the the idea behind it, and I think you know things like this that are also going to help us out um, is what is what's going to make it work. Exactly, I guess with customers that also gravitate towards you guys. Oh, there, there's something trying new, like. You're trying something new, like you know, yeah. people are gravitating. Not to sound cocky, we, we have a know. pretty big following. Yeah, um, exactly. But people do wait. You know, one of the things like whole things like, oh, people do wait a whole week to come see us. Yeah, that, that's Norwalk that's, or in Bridgeport. That's crazy. Uh, we that's, once or twice we've uh, we you know teamed up with People's Bank, that's for example, on Main Street. We parked on their lot, and it was you, you know. Got a lot of success from there too. Yeah, People's Bank. Uh, they showed out. Yeah. You know, all, people that I've never really even shout seen out to People's so. Bank. Shout yeah. out to People's <laughs> Bank. <laughs> Is there a date for that block party? Yeah. No. There's no date. Uh, we normally do it around uh, the Independence Day. The Independence Day, okay. which is uh, that we usually wait till the sun is perfect and <laughs> the water yeah, is clear so blue. <laughs> no, it's normally like uh, so July twenty. Yeah, the Colombian Independence Day. It's you know the day of. It's July twentieth. So we let's say you know July twentieth is on the Monday this year. So we're probably gonna do it on that on the nineteenth or the eighteenth. Okay. Alright, so, so we'll, we'll keep a look out for that. How can the follow, uh, listeners follow you guys? Or I don't know if you want to give your own personal or just. No, I hear it. The Colombian hot dog is the Instagram. It's exactly what it well, is. Instagram, Instagram Colombian Facebook, hot dog. Snapchat. The Colombian hot dog. Yeah. At so, the Colombian hot dog. At the Colombian yeah. hot dog. So follow, follow at Colombian hot dog to stay in the loop with all those dates. Yeah, for sure. At the um, Colombian hot dog. At the, the, the Colombian, Colombian hot dog. dog. Yes. Yeah. Make sure you follow because you want to, you know, s- s- get those dates. Um, and if something pops up, you know, if. if I don't know. Let's just say a family emergency, or even the weather maybe, and we can't open up for right. whatever. They, they'd get that update first time. You know, they wouldn't make that drive. Right, right, uh, right. For no Not just that, but also we also do when we are off. Rare, but we do do little pop up times. So where a couple of weeks ago, my boy right there ended up making hot dogs at my restaurant. Back bringing it back old school. Oh, hot yeah. dogs. I remember that. <laughs> but still, Actually, it was something that. where it was like you know what people were texting asking are you guys open are you guys open are you guys open and Mm -hmm. to still be able to keep your feet wet not completely be you know once twice possibly three times yeah we're open this friday just want to mention one thing uh, again the involvement of how we've learned to manage this business the first year and i again just not knowing how this worked we spent a lot of money on getting into uh, festivals we would drive up to gambia Married and we drove oh, up to Hartford. Those are good we times. We didn't mind. We loved it. We loved being out there, but it yeah. was a hard sale for people because right. it wasn't our crowd. So they're looking at us like, "What's up, Columbia hot dog?" Yeah. Mm-hmm. And yeah. if they had one, it's like, "Yeah, they yeah, loved it." Yeah, people tend to go back to um, what they're comfortable. But we spent, yes, exactly. we spent a lot of money yeah. in just being out there and not getting the the rewards. We found that uh, just staying local and just be you know being uh, just building 
from what we had and just you know getting from the locals that that right. local love that yeah, yeah, no, uh, is it, what built this business so we stopped or at least i stopped you know trying to get into the these festivals, festivals because it was a lot of investment right. you have and to pay for the fee and then the permit as well right so here so, 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 so here's the deal like not if, guaranteed with that being said uh we are definitely open to going to festivals but we have to get paid uh in, instead this time you know what i'm mm -hmm. saying instead of us coming out and and, and, and paying whatever the, the sum is. It could be a hit and miss in, the, in those festivals. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, you can pay a, a lump sum of money and not make yeah, exactly. anything in return. Uh -huh. so. We've, uh, we've, you know, we did the, um, what's the festival in Fairfield, the, the Black Rock. Oh, that, that the band thing, the band. The Porch Fest. That was beautiful. Yes. That was beautiful. The first year we did it, yeah. and that was amazing. Uh, we also did the, the other festival oh, on. Uh, I saw the video of you guys. The Wiener Fest. Shout out to the Wiener Festival. I remember that one. So, yeah, those we don't mind those because, you know, it's it's not um, you know it's not uh, money up front but we're also we're still local yeah, a lot festival. of people show up to those and it, it's a, it's a really good time right, right. as opposed to just going out to these nah. uh for other cities where yeah we love to show mm. you know love to hartford new haven all these right. uh, but it's a lot of the times it's you know they're they're asking right. for not only that um the week of the colombian black party well the month of july we also go up to new haven because Van Dome oh, throws Van Dome, yeah. Trip. So Van our Dome, New Haven Van Dome, um, Again, New Haven. we know the DJs. Yep. DJ so, um, yeah. Sincero, shout out to Sincero. Shout out to Stutters. Yep. DJ Sammy. DJ Sammy. DJ Sammy. He's Sammy's a big, uh, yeah. That's all the guy right all there, man. Yeah, Sammy, Sammy's, Sammy's a real, a real big... Uh, shout out to them. A real big follower. Like, he, right, right. he, holds, his, DJ's, he holds his down. DJ Stutters got a show here, guys, also. Uh, oh, really? Yeah. He's oh, got, nice. with, uh, Hopefully, all right, Stutters, you know me, man. Hopefully, you know, shout me out. Come on, man. I want to go on your show. <laughs> Not, uh, but, yeah. Um, Talking about when, DJ, uh, DJ Pope. That's my boy. Just, you know, shout out to DJ, DJ Pope. Oh, yeah, DJ oh. Pope. That's all. That's, that's, hey, my, that's my number one. I just don't forget, though. Follow that Instagram page. Uh, at the Colombian Hot Dog. It's gonna keep you updated on on everything, basically. Yep. Um, festival um, mm -hmm. dates, uh, block party dates. Uh, you know, prices, new new menu items, maybe. Um, yeah, make sure you follow um, Instagram at the Columbia Hot Dog, Facebook, and even Twitter. Uh, we're on Snap also. I, I'm not sure if it's yeah, we are on Snap. TikTok, TikTok. TikTok. Yeah, we're on we're on TikTok oh, we're on too. TikTok. You guys did TikTok. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> at the Columbia Hot Dog. <laughs> Uh -huh. So I'm at the I'm Ooh, the that's new Instagram 1,993 followers. Yeah, yeah. yeah, there it goes. All right, make it 1,994, man. Nice. Oh, we're gonna get to that 2K guys. Come on, so come on listeners, just add them. Yes, come on, sir. guys. Oh, shout oh. out to Queen Mazo too. If you guys want to follow a nice um, Queen, authentic grandma. This about this, this follower Columbia's grandma. Follower number 2,000. What do we do for follower number 2,000? Oh, damn. Got to give away 2,000 hot dogs, man. <laughs> <laughs> The <laughs> mini, the mini, <laughs> the mini dogs. Uh. All right, follow the uh, follow number two thousand. We'll my boy, we'll my boy uh, Dave is gonna throw in a uh, angry sauce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we yeah, we we'll get y'all a meal. Uh, follow number two thousand. We'll meal. make sure to uh, we're counting. We'll hook it up. Meal. We'll hook it up. Put it that way. We'll figure something out, but we'll definitely hook it up. Follow Trust me, you will not. Let's be do something. Uh, uh, we're gonna do it offline. We're gonna okay. talk about something. Right. Uh, we'll put together a giveaway or something. Right, right. right. No, that, that, that's, that's a that, good that, idea. That's, that, that's actually Perfect. a real good idea, man. Because um, again, on a food truck, he came by with his hot sauce and it was uh, <laughs> spice it, it, it up. Was, it was amazing. Spice it up. Ooh, it was amazing. This hot sauce is really, really good. So good. So, um, any shout outs before we wrap this up? Anybody you want to order it? Uh, well, shout out to my mother because, like I said, she was not she's shout not out she's Diana, not here. Man, shout out real. Diana, man, I love Seriously. you, mom. You'll but she's, front, uh, front. she's you'll always if you go to the food truck, you'll always see her in the front. She's, she's a heart and soul. She's a uh, Diana, 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 Diana Mazo, uh, Thea she, Diana. Oh yeah, yeah Thea yeah, Diana. Yeah, Diana. Uh -huh. exactly. yeah. She really is a heart. Believe my mom, my mom's name Diana as well. Oh yeah, talk about man. No, but it's it's crazy because it gets to that point. People, people. shout out, shout out the Columbia hot dog. Diana too. So follow the Columbia. At the Columbia Hot Dog, don't you forget. I just want to mention that you see us out here. We, you know, you, we're in the truck building and we're, you know, prepping and cooking. Club. There's a lot more people involved in this. Yeah. You know, we have family. Okay. Uh, someone who's taking care of the numbers yeah, at yeah. home. Someone yeah. who's uh, shout out Maria, man. All right, uh, someone who's like a, off, um, like during the day, just kind of helping fix things or here and there that you know that get broken or whatever it is you know there's a lot of people involved uh, yeah. my brother who helps me with just being able to park the trailer at his house for example so there's mm. little, a lot of people everybody who chips in just, right right 
it, it is a family business. That's a, that's I, a Spanish thing. That's a Latino thing, right? Yeah, man. You I think mean, of family, man. How many cousins do we have? <laughs> How many odds and shit we get Listen, together? My grandmother had 15 kids. All right. <laughs> My grandmother had 15 uh, kids. I got, <laughs> it's just, you do the math. I got 30 something cousins, and it's just like, right, it's so, a family so that So, shout going. out um, Quality Trailers in, in Miami. Uh, my cousin who makes oh, yeah. the trailers for, uh, he usually builds trailers for like horses or like right, just uh, right. oh, uh, delivering things. But he went out, out of his way and, you know, took his time to make a food truck, a food trailer for us. Yeah, they came out. Uh, we want, yeah. just want to make sure that. So quality trailers in, in Miami. If anyone's interested in uh, building right. tra- uh, nice. you know, buying a trailer from them, right. uh, DJ Bope, who's you know my cousin, he's doing big things in Colombia. Jay Bobby, and of course you guys know who that is. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, you know he's the all vibes, man. He's all part of La Familia. Mob ties for real. <laughs> <laughs> Another person, shout out, shout to out to Queen Mazo, to Queen Mazo. I want to say shout out to Queen Mazo because if it wasn't for her, none of this would be here. That's a fact. Right, that's, yeah. that's our grandmother. So you, that's our grandmother. Again, you gotta follow her on Instagram. On Instagram, if you. It's called. Queen Queen Mazo. Followers, Queen so. Mazo. Yeah, that's so, why I, I, I wish I was lying, but if you really do want to, the most, he's, he, the most he's just jealous because he don't have that many followers. That's what it is. <laughs> that's that's why he doesn't like that's telling man, Columbia's grandma, bro. Man, listen, let's know. be serious. We could all combine all our followers, and they probably won't even look at 13. <laughs> nah, it would exist. Um, but but yeah, also, out to her, also nah, that's my aunt, so Beatrice, right and uh, El yeah. Latino restaurant at 553 Park Avenue. I don't get the also, man. Yeah, yeah that's, my, that's my grandmother. My little, okay. uh, my little yeah. cousin. There's uh, a lot of people that yeah, who's just uh, over the years have been I, working at the truck. I'll tell you more about uh, it. We've had my cousin Jessica. We've had my cousin. We have Jonathan. Jonathan. We have my Daniela. cousin Daniela. We, it's, it's, a, it's a very family it's oriented, it's family fun. filled environment that it's just. Like I said, my aunt, it all started at the restaurant at uh, El Latino. And then so finally, up and going. Um, and then finally, shout out stuff. to my students. They're always looking for jobs, so. <laughs> <laughs> man, shout out to the potluck, the late night potluck show. That's all right, Thank you guys for having us, honestly, man. Seriously. Thank you for having us. Shout out to mathematics, all that, man. Yeah. Great shout out to Rao, yeah. man. Honestly, shout out to all you guys, honestly. Like, you guys, thank you Shout out to, yo, Dave's, what is, um, Dave's Angry Sauce. Dave's Angry Sauce. Angry sauce <laughs> Come on, man. It's the one with the little that. smoke in the, out of the ears, bro. Come on, <laughs> hey, man. Hey, the best, the best tasting, uh, And I don't even like hot sauce. sauce. And yes, I did throw that Dave's Angry Sauce on my, on my hot dog. You know, it's fucking Got to. So. The only way. Rio, how can they follow you? Uh, oh yeah, please. spice action on Instagram. Spice action? Yes, man, it's all about spice. Let's do that, let's do that. So you're a spicy type of fella. Like you well, you saw how much hot sauce. So you should be on that show, the hot ones with the wings and all yeah, that. Yeah, right? seriously though, they should get you on there. <laughs> so yo, don't forget to follow us at the Late Night Potluck Show on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, check me out, Dave'sAngrySauce dot com. Check out um, yeah, the, the you know place your orders. Uh, we got T shirts, we got bottles. Uh, check uh, also, we got merch at. The late night potluck dot etsy dot com. You'll find shirts, we got hoodies, we got hats, we got it all. Check it out. Then late the late night potluck, potluck show. show. Not show. Oh no, no I'm sorry. The late, the late potluck. night potluck dot etsy dot com. Okay, sorry about that. Yep, no no um check it out. That helps us out. Continue what we're doing. Nice. Um nice. and yo, check out the Colombian hot dog. Alright? Make all right, sure yo. make sure you guys stay tuned because like he said, uh we will be trying to do something. Mm-hmm. A collaboration so you yeah, know definitely. just stay tuned everybody we'll followers posted. everybody one subscribe. Last thing, let's go one last thing uh relay yeah, yeah. for life at relay fair for child life. Relay, relay for life it's about benefiting um cancer mm-hmm. patients Absolutely. and it's always a good time at the school yep i know you know you're involved yep you. i'm always there so make sure that you know you guys check it out and please go there like you get, we're gonna have updates on our page yep, so yep, people yep. can can sign up can help us gather mm-hmm. funds and you know just again it's all about helping absolutely each other out. We'll be there. Okay, uh, guys, this uh, season's gonna be the best one. I promise you guys. <laughs> <laughs> 2020. Fact, hey, Pablo karaoke. Man. Hey, Pop karaoke on Twitter. Follow me for oh. per. <laughs> 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 it's a personal shout out. Gotta get that in there. All right, all right, guys. Thank Have you, a man. good night. Peace. Too. Have a good one. Thanks for listening. Thanks for listening. Be sure to join us next time.